All right, in this last video here, let's calculate the third way we express um, concentration, and that's in units of mole fraction. Mole fraction, remember, is this capital X is our symbol, and it's unitless. Mole fraction is a convenient unit of measure, um, or a convenient unit of concentration reporting uh, measurement when one needs to understand the number of solute particles, whether that particle be, you know, an atom, an ion, a formula unit, a compound, in relationship to the total number of solution particles, which would be the sum of the solutes or the multiple solutes and the solvent. Okay, sometimes it's important to do that, and we'll see that um, shortly. But for an example, let's just calculate the mole fraction of a sulfuric uh, acid in a 5% by mass sulfuric acid solution. Okay, so I have a 5% by mass sulfuric acid solution, and I want to report that in terms of the mole fraction of the sulfuric acid. All right, remember, mole fraction is the part in moles over the whole in moles, or parts over whole, parts moles, the part that you're interested in, whole moles. Okay, so in this case, I have a 5% by mass sulfuric acid, or, um, actually, I, let me, I don't want to do 5%, my bad, let's do a 25% by mass, pardon the typo, um, mass sulfuric acid. Alrighty, so um, what I'm going to start with is expressing what I have given 25% by mass. What that means is 25 grams of sulfuric acid per 100 grams of solution. That's a way of expressing 25% by mass. Um, percent means per 100, so um, the, I can use any mass unit, so I'll just use grams because that's a convenient unit when I'm going to be converting to moles. All right, so I can express this 25% by mass um, unit as 25 grams of sulfuric acid per 100 grams of solution. And the solution is just the sulfuric acid plus water. All right, um, that's implied here. So um, then if I'm going to get it into uh, units of parts of moles uh, per whole of moles, then what I need to recognize is that I'm going to have 25 grams of sulfuric acid, and my solution is really the sum of the acid and the water. So I have to separate those parts out. So that's 25 grams of sulfuric acid plus 75 grams of sulfuric acid. Oh, excuse me, plus 75 grams of water, the this, this solvent. Alrighty, so um, now all I need to do is recognize that I need to convert the gram units, because I have parts over the whole, but it's in the wrong unit. I need it to be in the unit of moles. I need to convert each one of these um, components into moles. So again, anytime you have a compound, it's really easy to convert to moles by using the molar mass. And so for the 25 grams of sulfuric acid, um, to convert that to moles, then I need the molar mass of sulfuric acid, which is a 98, I figured that out previously, 98 grams of sulfuric acid per one mole of sulfuric acid. All right, and so that's my um, conversion for my um, for my sulfuric acid, and I can just then do the same conversion down here. I'm going to plug it all into my calculator at once, divided by one or times one mole of sulfuric acid per, per 98 grams of sulfuric acid, plus the uh, 75 grams of water and I'm going to convert that to moles. Um, the molar mass of water is about 18 grams of, whoops, I keep wanting to make an S there, 18 grams of, 18 grams of water per one mole of water. Of course, I put that in the numerator. All right, and so now my gram unit is going to cancel everywhere, and I'm going to be left in units of moles. So I can do all of this on my calculator, and when I do the math, um, convert to moles, and then add these two together and divide, um, divide it out, I end up with a mole fraction of 0 .058. And of course it's unitless. 
because the moles um, cancel out, it's just a fraction. So in this case, the mole fraction of H2SO4 equals 0 0.058.